The resurgence of bed bugs has gotten so bad that experts from across the country are gathering for a first of its kind bed bug summit. NBC's Kevin Tipples is in Chicago with details. Kevin, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. I have a very scary bedtime story for you this morning because once upon a time, the only time we heard about bed bugs was when traveling in foreign countries. But these days in America, they're back with a biting vengeance. Hello, bed bug central. May I help you? America is a bed bug battleground. There's a lot of infestation spreading all across the board in all 50 states at this point. The Empire State Building, New York's Nike Town, college campuses, movie theaters, libraries, a military base were all infested. Bed bugs, they might be on you right now. Can you feel them crawling all over you? These little bloodsuckers have been so prolific, Chicago is now hosting North America's first bed bug summit, where experts in both medicine and extermination meet to plot the end of the invasion. Their weapons? Everything from a cryonite freeze gun to ice the little critters. I'm freezing the little buggers. Just an instant freeze. To the insect inferno, where they fry them. Instead of throwing your stuff away, let us heat treat it in our trailer at 160 degrees and kill them little suckers dead. To customize impenetrable mattress covers. Other parts of the world, they just live with bed bugs, but Americans aren't going to do that. So they're going to do everything in their power to get rid of them, and I don't blame them. <laughs> because in America, parasites like bed bugs also carry a biting stigma. They look at you like you have a disease. <laughs> and you feel like you do. You're getting eaten alive. It's, it's horrible. Sure, they're horrible, but one person's pest is another's picture. And visitors to the summit could carry home a framed portrait. Better on your wall than in your bed. This gathering of the best and the brightest in the bed bug biz have seen their business triple in the last year as they try to bite the bug before the bug bites you. Meredith? <laughs> Kevin Tipples, thank you very much. That bug behind him is big. Yeah, every crisis presents an opportunity. Oh, well, it's a cottage and industry that's no grown up. No question about it. Some people are going to take advantage of this. Yuck.